Hi beauties, Emily of Redeeming Beauty Minerals here and I was going to show you, um, we'll see if you can guess what I'm going to show you today. Um, can you take a look at my face and see what I am missing? I think it's painfully obvious what I'm missing, but we're always our own worst critics, right? But I'm missing my eyebrows. <laughs> Unfortunately, I seem to have blonde eyebrows even though I have dark brown hair. And I don't know why that is. Um, they are also a victim of over tweezing of the 90s and 2000s. So um, that probably doesn't help either. I have tried um, eyebrow growth serum that should darken it and stuff, all natural, of course. But I unfortunately am not consistent in using it. So it doesn't do any good. So that's my fault, not theirs, right? So, anyways, I thought I would show you how to darken your eyebrows and shape your eyebrows using Redeeming Beauty Minerals powder eyeshadow. Um, you can use any powder eyeshadow, of course, uh, but I make my own eyeshadow and make sure it's non-toxic and everything, so that's why I'm using mine. Um, you're going to need a smudge brush, and I'm going to use Hot Cocoa, which is a dark brown. You can also use Chocolate Bunny, which is like a medium brown. Um, so if you have light brown hair, medium brown hair, you can use that. Chocolate Bunny might work also if you have dark blonde hair. And Toffee would work if you have blonde hair. So um, let's get started. Uh, I have found that it's best if you start with a little and then add more at a time. And you always start with your best side that you do. Um, your favorite side or whatever. So that way you can copy that on your not as good side. So that's why I did, I don't have either eyebrow done for you today. So I tap um, eyeshadow crumbs into the lid because it can, it's a way I can control it better um, so I don't get too much on my brush. So then I just smush my brush into the powder and then I'm going to follow my eyebrow line. That's the first thing I do because I want to follow a natural brow line but I don't like the natural shape of my brows or I should say I don't like the shape that they were tweezed into long ago. Um, we have come a long way in our technology and style and everything and um, I learned to tweeze brows when it was really arched a long time ago and um, my eyebrow shape naturally is very bushy right through here and kind of pointed so um, I had a hard time learning to shape in order to shape what I needed. I needed to pull everything up into the higher range where I should have tweezed some of right here. Um, so that's why my I don't like my shape. So what I'm going to do is follow the natural brow line I have, right? And then I'm going to darken some of that. Um, I'm going to pull my brow down thicker through here, not up higher, but down lower. And I'm going to thicken this part just a little bit. I have found a little at a time is great. You can adjust it better. Um, but always have your, like, of course, I can't reach it while in the video. Hold on. Always have your kabuki brush handy. It'll have some leftover foundation. And you can just uh, swipe it over to kind of soften the look a little bit. I can't see very well in my screen of my little iPhone. So I'm going to look behind the mirror here. So there you go. There's an eyebrow. See, look, it really looks like I'm not, I don't have an eyebrow over here, right? <laughs> um, but I will soften this just a little bit because I am very fair skinned. You want to make sure your brows look natural. So I'm going to smash eyeshadow in again and then I'm going to do my best to shape following this side because I always like how this side turns out. If I start with this side first, I feel like I have pointed eyebrows and I have no idea why. So I'm going to, oh, this is kind of difficult on screen. Um, you're like five times smaller. Oh, that's quite interesting. You have to be really careful. So, looks like I need to get this part real good and then thicken this. I've learned the hard way. Like, you think, oh, let me raise my eyebrows so I can get to them better. <laughs> and then you have really arched high eyebrows. And you just walk around looking like you're surprised. Like that joke, right? 
I told my friend her eyebrows looked like they were drawn on too high and she's like, oh, and she looked surprised. All right, that's what you'll look like. So this one is a little bit up here. You can find lots of pictures on Pinterest to help you find your eyebrow shape that's best for your face shape. I can't really help you with that. Um, I'm lucky to find the eyebrow shape that works for me and every once in a while my eyebrows still don't look right. So um, I'm not going to try to tell you everything that'll work for you because I don't know. Um, so this needs a little bit of help here. Okay. I feel like they don't look quite the same, but I can't figure out why that is. Sometimes you just should stop and just go with it. So anyways, I feel like this is too far over is what it is. Of course I make a mistake on my eyebrows when I'm making a video for you. I'm looking behind my phone right now, that's why I'm looking like this. Every once in a while you're gonna realize you miss the actual hairs and they look a little shiny and lighter. So if you just make sure you brush lightly the hairs, that'll help. So um, in my mirror, I look a little bit stark and too dark. So I'm gonna take my kabuki brush and I'm gonna go over a couple times just to kind of soften. So that way they look natural. I don't wanna look like I have drawn on eyebrows. That's no longer the style. And it was a style for a while to be very, very, very bold in your eyebrows. I've tried that look. It just makes me look angry. So I don't know if it's my face shape or what, but it's not for me. <laughs> um, so I just go for natural. I'm not always totally on point um, because sometimes styles just look dumb. So in my opinion, at least certain styles look dumb on me. So anyways, that's how you fill your eyebrows. It usually takes me less time than that. Um, but of course, I'm making a video, so that's why it took me longer. So anyways, there's your quick tutorial, and I hope you will feel more beautiful because your eyebrows are um, designed perfectly for you and filled in, um, so that way you have a nice expression on your face. So anyways, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the next tutorial. And remember, beauty is more than skin deep. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.